All right, guys, big time win for the Utah Jazz over the Dallas Mavericks. This is the Utah Jazz post game show on the Hoopsner channel. This was a third game in four nights for the Jazz back end of the back uh, back end of a back to back against the Dallas Mavericks. I was excited to watch this game. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the Mavericks and then get into the Jazz. Uh, the big story for everyone who wants to see the Mavericks is Luka Doncic. And this was the first time the Jazz get to see Doncic. For me personally, I mean, I've seen a little bit, but it was my first chance to really watch a game with Doncic. And I'll get us at least see three more times with the Jazz and some more other times. It kind of confirmed to some some things that I had thought about Doncic, which is weren't bad things. He looks like Gordon Hayward to me a little bit, or Joe Ingles, or one of those large ball handlers who uh gets assists get rebounds can shoot and score efficiently uh very gordon hayward-esque uh tonight he scored 14 points on uh let's see uh luka Doncic, 14 points on 38 percent shooting uh he had five assists six rebounds you know that's like joe ingles gordon hayward-esque type numbers where he's a big time ball handler he's not an explosive athlete and you actually saw that today uh, against the Utah Jazz defense that was stifling again. Despite some questionable calls from officials, uh, the Utah Jazz were able to stay in front of him and hold him to a, a below average shooting percentage. But you can see the talent with Doncic that he can handle. Uh, he can get, he's strong. So that's part of what it is. Like if you're not an explosive athlete, at, be, at least be one that's able to handle the ball and be strong so that you can use your strength and size to get by your guy. That's why Doncic will be great or at least very good or at least as, he good, as good as he is now. This is his floor. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how much better he gets as his career goes on. But the thing is, is he's strong. So he can use that strength to get position or get to the rim. And it actually will help him get to the free throw line a lot. That's how Hayward uh, did it with Utah. And if he ever gets back to his uh, form or whatever it is at Boston, it's using that strength and size to keep that defender on your side and be able to get to the rim and either get to the free throw line or draw defenders and get the shot. And so that's why DeAndre Jordan actually is a nice big for Doncic. Uh, it should be interesting. The The Mavericks are an interesting th team this year. I don't know if they make the playoffs, but they've got talent. And if they can get it together and, and figure out a way to score. Uh, Dennis Smith Jr. had a big night tonight. 27 points on like 60% shooting. He had a big night. And the Jazz found a way to win. So... Let's talk about Utah. Uh, the big story of this really is Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert is having an all-star year, and it's not even really a question tonight. Rudy Gobert was 23 points, 16 rebounds, three blocks, two steals, and clutch free throws to close out the Mavericks. He was a monster. He cannot be stopped. DeAndre Jordan had not, no answer for Rudy Gobert, who finished at the rim, hit free throws, blocked shots on the other end. If you just watch Rudy Gobert on defense, it's a pleasure because he just deflects or stops or players just flat out quit and will back their dribble out and get a worse shot because of it. Uh, Rudy Gobert, absolutely best center in the NBA right now, unless you consider Anthony Davis a center. And you've got, you know, first team NBA or second team NBA, Rudy Gobert. It's no question. He's unbelievable. And he gets better and better. This year, he's doing more things with the lob. And he's getting better positioning so he can score easy buckets. And he drew fouls tonight by doing that. Where the multiple fouls on J.J. Barea or Dennis Smith Jr., whenever he got the switch, they gave it to him. And he either lob dunked it or he got to the free throw line. Fantastic from Rudy. He's becoming an an absolute weapon. Uh, Donovan Mitchell had an efficient night. He couldn't hit a three. And so because of that, he went to the rim and he scored 22 points. It looks like, let's see Donovan Mitchell, 20 points tonight on 10 of 19 shooting. And that included three missed shots. Donovan's figured it out. And the three point shooting when it's falling, he'll be, you know, he can score 38. Like he did the other night tonight. He wasn't hitting. So he went to the rim and they still won. And he scored an efficient 20 points on top of that. Uh, Donovan had, uh, let's see one rebound, four assists. The playmaking's getting better. He had five turnovers, so he can improve on the turnovers, but great game from Donovan. Uh, Ricky didn't have a great game tonight. We'll just kind of forget about that because he had a big game the game before, but two for nine shooting, one for three from three. Uh, he did have eight assists, though, and Ricky actually looked good when he was on the floor. The shot wasn't falling, but he was uh, commanding the offense. The defense was good. Um, finally, uh, two players you got to talk about, and I've said this before, and it's going to be a story every night. George Niang is becoming a massive part of this team. You could argue, argue George Niang and, and Grayson Allen were the reason this team won. George Niang was phenomenal. 
He shot, let's see, George Niang, 13 points on four or five shooting, two for three from three, three for three from the free throw line, uh, plus five for the game. Fantastic minutes from George Niang. And the better he gets, the more minutes he's going to get. He is phenomenal. He is absolutely going to change this game, change this team. They're going to win games. Like they won tonight because of George Niang and also Grayson Allen. 11 points, three for three shooting, one for one from three, four for four for the free throw line. My goodness was Grayson good. One rebound, one turnover, a plus 17. And the Jazz won by seven. Wow. Big time stuff from uh, Grayson Allen, who absolutely is earning more minutes. George Niang is earning more minutes. Uh, Grayson Allen, that three-point shot is pure. George Niang, that shot is pure. It's fantastic to watch. The Jazz are doing what we thought we, they would. The starting unit is doing well. And then the second unit is, is just extending leads or keeping the lead. Really rough to see Jay Crowder hurt his ankle. Uh, we got to see the Jazz starting lineup with Jay, and it looked really good. It's really interesting to watch. Uh, but let's just hope Jay Crowder's ankle isn't hurt too bad. Guys, like and subscribe to the channel. You're my friends. I like you. Become a Hoops Nerd subscriber, and then you get to watch videos all the time. I'll talk to you later.